Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. If you're new here, I do makeup reviews, makeup tutorials, skincare, anything beauty related. I got you covered. So today's video, I want to talk about a kind of a small haul that I did um, a couple of weeks ago. I received most of these things around the time I wasn't feeling good. So I didn't even, I haven't even applied it to my face. Like I've done a couple of swatch videos that you'll see on like Instagram and once I actually do review these, but I do want to talk about a couple of things. One thing was actually sent to me, which I was super excited about. I always get excited when a company emails me and like, hey, you know, would you like to try this? And I'm always like, oh, okay, cool, yeah, sure. <laughs> so I'm gonna be talking about the first product. It is a from, now if you're on Instagram, I'm sure you've seen um, their ads for it. It's from a perfume company called Dossier. This is what it looks like. And Dossier is an inspired by brand. So basically what they do is they will take a popular um, perfume. They craft it in France for a fraction of the price, which I think is great. Because like, I'm not going to lie, there are some perfumes that I've always been interested in trying. But when I see the price tag, I'm like, uh, no, I'm not spending that. Um, so I was able to look through a list of perfumes and believe it or not, I ended up, I picked one that I didn't like and I reached out to the girl that contacted me and I was like, Hey, listen, um, I don't like the perfume that I picked. Can I exchange it? And it's so funny because I still get like, Oh my God, are they going to say no? Or, you know what I mean? But she was really nice. She was like, yep, no problem. She was like, just send it back. Um, and just pick out a different perfume. So I was like, ooh, okay. And she was very responsive. Like I have to say the customer service was really good. They were responsive, super helpful. Like I sometimes laugh. like, I'm the kind of person that like, if we're having a conversation and you explain something to me and I don't understand it, like I'll ask you again. And then in like two minutes, I might ask you again, just because I want to be a hundred percent sure. And like, she was <laughs> very sweet about it. I know that sometimes that can be a little bit of annoying, like annoying to deal with when you're trying to talk to somebody, but super helpful. Very, very nice. So I picked this perfume and the scent is called Ambry Saffron and it is supposed to be a affordable version of, there's this perfume. It's called Mason Francis and I don't know how to say the other um, part of his name, but it's Barraquette Rouge. 540 which the perfume itself retails for about $300 like the small one I was always curious about that one because of TikTok so many people talk about this perfume that it's um it just smells really good it's very long wear so I was like okay well I'm never gonna get that perfume like and pay the price tag I'll try this one so you get a tester with it which is nice so you get the package and you get a tester and you use the tester first to see if you like it. If you don't like it, then you send the whole package back. I think you can keep the tester because technically it says here, if you don't like it back, just return the package with the 50 milliliter bottle to get a full refund. So it's a cool way of like trying a perfume. And if you don't like it, you send it back, you know, just obviously just use the tester. So this is what the perfume looks like. It's got a nice weight to it. It is 50 milliliters. And it's like a magnetic, like, listen, that's cool. Like, I don't know. I think that's such a cool little detail to it. <laughs> does it need to have a magnetic cap? No, but the fact that it does, I think it's cute. I like the bottle. It's very simple. I like that it's clear. And I believe this particular fragrance is unisex. So it's good for a man. It's good for a female. Now, um, one thing that I will say with this perfume, because I did try it on, it lasts about 10 hours, which I thought was amazing. Like the same consistency, like it didn't fade or anything like that. Um, and what's interesting is with this particular perfume, and I've noticed with certain expensive ones, I used to freelance for Tom Ford. I know I'm like rambling really quick. I used to freelance for Tom Ford. It was not my favorite place to work at, but we had to learn perfumes and I never understood but with perfumes sometimes like there's different notes that you 
smell when you spray it. So when you initially spray it, you'll get like a certain like a sweet smell. And then like, as you're continuing to smell it, you, you can really smell like the different flowers or the different spices. And I noticed that with this. And the only other perfume that I ever noticed that had like these different levels in the scent was a Tom Ford. I have one right over here. Tom Ford has that. So I noticed that with this and I was like, oh, that's really nice. So this one has, oh, it's, it smells so good. It has like a floral scent, but there's a little spice to it. And I, don't, I like it a lot. So I wanted to talk about that really quick. I will link, I will give you guys a link down below. Um, I believe you get 10% off. No pressure, but if you were curious about this brand and you want to try, it's a very hassle-free brand. They do ship from PA, at least the ones I've gotten have shipped from PA. So the shipping was like maybe a day or two. So I thought that was great. All right, on to some makeup now. I went to TJ Maxx a couple of weeks ago and I found something that I really always wanted to try. It's another milk product and it's one of their blushes, uh, Lip and Cheek, and it's in the shade wiki which is like a really pretty kind of plummy berry shade so definitely be on the lookout for a review on this one then I also ordered okay I I wanted to say something and it's gonna come off like I'm complaining because I am complaining but I put an order in for Colourpop and I know I'm in Jersey they're in California. I get that the shipping is going to be at least a week. Okay. I ordered these on launch day. This was the lemon cello, the blush sticks. I got the three shades because I was super excited. I love the, like the way the other blush stick that I reviewed wore and how it applied. So I was like, Oh yeah, of course, no doubt. I'm going to get it. So I got these and I ordered them March 7th. I didn't get these until April 7th or 8th. Again, I understand you know, there's a lot going on in the world, but what drives me crazy is like, I put the order in and it took about two and a half weeks for it to ship from them, which is like, that that's kind of ridiculous in my opinion. Um, and it sucks because it's like, I ordered these on launch day. Like I want to get them out to review them for you guys, you know, a little bit sooner than that, but I don't know, it's a whole month later and it's like, come on. And then like to make matters worse, you guys know I like the serum blush, the cheek dude. So when I placed my order the first time, again, and that took even like two, three weeks, I wanted to get the color Beyond and I completely forgot it slipped my mind. And I was like, oh, I'll, I'll just put it in with this order. So aside from this coming a month later, I get this blush and this is what it looks like. It's not blended at all it's just completely separated the liquid that's in there is like a bluish black and like I try to shake it and like it just looks I don't know I don't know if it just wasn't mixed well if the formula is just not good I don't know I don't want to put it on my face I emailed them I'm waiting to hear back from them but I would that was kind of disappointing because I was excited about this shade because it's got like it's got more depth to it but I don't know I'm gonna wait and see what happens I just I don't know why I want to put that on my face. So that is that. But back to these. I got the blush sticks. So first of all, the packaging is so cute. Like I'll quickly like talk about the packaging. It is embossed. It's got a foil on it. It's like there's just blush sticks. You can feel it. It's raised and there's like these little accents here of flowers. And then you have the name on the top. But look how cute this is. If you pull this out, it's a little lemon. And that's also like foil stamped, which I think is so pretty. And then the packaging of the actual blush itself is stinking cute. So I did get all three shades. I will quickly swatch them for you. So I got a Coastal Drive, which is a warm terracotta. That's Coastal Drive. I got Cottage Life, which is a, like a warm kind of peach. Again, I will do reviews on these for you. And then I got, oops. Oh, I got Picnic Time, which is like a peachy, kind of a 
bright peach. It says that there's like gold in it, but it's so minute. So this one I would say comes off the most matte, but these are all supposed to be matte shades. So, so yes, that is my recent haul. Um, I did put an order for the Tower 28, um, their new cream blush in the Power Hour, and then they just released bronzers and I didn't know what shade to go with so I ended up getting Pacific Coast which is the deepest shade I don't know if that's gonna work or not I went crazy looking for swatches and I couldn't find anything and I wasn't sure if West Coast was gonna be good for me or not so we will see when that gets here you guys know I am definitely reviewing that for you guys so if you have any questions or comments please feel free to comment down below I hope you guys are having an amazing day stay healthy and I'll see you guys in my next one.